those of you that are new to Digimon World 2, it's the English names, but they're using their Japanese voice, Japanese translation for the attacks. So, level 3 and level 2. We got plenty of HP discs, so now we should be able to do just fine, but a few extra battles would not hurt. Oddly enough, Tapiermon has the same amount of HP roughly as Crabmon at level 1. Now, there is a different Crabmon later on in the game that I would want to pick up. And it has a boost is a boosted in its power and also in its HP and MP. Yep, more HP discs, the merrier. And here's a Beomon. Beomon knows the Spiral Twister, which is a 6 MP move. Now, thrashing the vaccines is the easy part. Now the next part is being able to be fast enough to outspeed the virus types and be able to get two hits in for each one because we are not going to be able to one hit these guys up until we reach a couple more levels. And by then, we'll be needing hundreds of experience points for next level up, so these guys would not be wanting on our list. Alright, we got two guys right here, and we're going to go into a double. Oh, he is still faster. Believe it or not, they kind of made it kind of cheesy and they copied Ag the Agumon, Toy Agumon, Gabumon. They all share the same pretty much sprite movement and animation, just different texture. Which I, I find kind of cheap why they end up doing that. They just pretty much just took a different skin and just slapped it on Gabumon. Another victory. Pata's level four, Ninja's number four. Level four, good grief. So we're getting close to being able to fight the boss without having any trouble. And Betamon's running away, but we're gonna have no choice but to fight the guy. Also, if I did pick to choose the black swords, 
Snokaburimon would evolve into Hogamon, which has a... Uh, oh, the attack missed. There is a slight chance for the attack to miss. Getting back to what I was saying before, Hogamon does not have an actual attack. He has an assist called Reinitialization, which resets any one Digimon's stat gains from either from a decrease or an increase. Betamon will initially digivolve into Dark Tyrannomon, which has a 18, uh, it's, it's a uh, 22 MP attack called the Fire Blast, which attacks all targets, and it is very good to have multiple attack hits. I tell you what, that missed almost really got me in trouble. Okay, once Grabmon's up another level, we are ready to fight. That big boss. Betamon has a 6 MP attack called Electroshock. It's just a normal rookie type move with no added effects. He was only a 3 a EXP giver. I'm constantly keeping a lookout. Hey, would you look at that? So, the, this place will make you question your sense of direction. It has happened many, many times. If I would have went down, I would have wasted a whole lot of EP. Should seafood just needs one more experience and we're ready to fight the boss. So as a as a caution, we're gonna take out the Betamon, just in case the next floor does not have any data types, which has happened before. There's a slight chance where you can go into a room that's supposed to have enemy unit Digimon. And there won't be any. And there are rooms like that later on in the game will essentially have HP, MP discs. Then there's going to be certain special rooms that's going to be full of uh, acid panels. We'll have good stuff like DNA up chips, DNA down chips. Attack, defense, speed chips, HP, MP discs, chips. Those are really nice to farm and get together and use when you DNA Digivolve. 